Well, good morning. Today we are going to talk about fair housing, sexual discrimination, and sexual harassment. Thanks in part to the movements that you now see on all the social medias, the Me Too movement and the Time's Up movement, sexual harassment and subsequently any sexual discrimination has now become a big player in the national conversation. Responsible agents such as you and I not only reject sexual predatory behavior, but also actively try and report it and dismantle all of the potential issues and toxic workplace environments that it could create. We also need to understand that the entire ideology and the behavior that we portray could reflect poorly upon us individually and your brokerage, as well as damage neighborhoods, damage clients, and customers alike. So in this course, we're going to take a closer look at how sexual harassment is defined by several different government agencies. We're going to talk about the impact that this behavior can have on you, your client, your brokerage, neighborhoods, and all those other things. Additionally, we're also going to discuss ways that you can take action in your office to be more inclusive and welcoming to all your fellow agents, the clients that you serve, the clients that your other uh, compadres serve as well. This includes, we're going to put together a comprehensive office policy that is thoroughly addresses sexual harassment and discrimination. The course outline we're going to talk about is a little about an introduction. Then we're going to talk about how we define the sexual harassment as defined by the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, the EEOC. Also, HUD, the Department of Housing and Urban Development, and lastly, our professional affiliation with the National Association of Realtors. We're going to talk about Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. Now, you may have heard of Title VIII, which created the fair housing. We're going to talk about Title VII today and how that is used inside or as a governing rule for sexual harassment. All right. We're going to talk about what are the ramifications or outcomes that can be uh, created within the brokerage, including how it affects clients and customers and uh, other workers and things like that. We're going to talk about the sexual harassment uh, housing initiative. We're going to touch a little bit about the federal and state laws pre protecting sexual orientation and gender in housing. We're going to give you some tips so that you can help write a comprehensive policy that addresses sexual harassment in the workplace, which does include, by the way, any house that you could be showing. Also, the complaint process. We're going to talk a little bit about some key scenarios and how to reinforce key concepts. And then we're going to finish it up with some questions and answers. So this is what we are going to be discussing today. And most of you know that I am a lighthearted, jolly kind of instructor. Not a lot of jokes are going to be made during this course because this is something that I take very seriously because the ramifications go well beyond just what you would do. It could affect the person and their family. It could affect a whole bunch of other people. So sit back, relax. If you're here in class, thank you very much. If you're listening at home, get yourself a new cup of coffee because here we go.